All right, so uh, only a little ways into it, and it already errored out. It's got a lot of dependencies that are not uh, built in that really uh, need to be um, in there for building. And so one of the things you can do is you can set up your build environment and export this allow missing dependencies equals true to say, hey, I understand there's a lot of things missing, um, but we're only building the recovery image, so we don't need uh, everything um, you know that uh, that needs to be in a regular Android build. So then you can run your lunch command again, and of course uh, our MKA recovery image, and try doing that to see if you can get around a lot of those missing dependency problems. So we'll take a look here and see what happens. Hopefully that's going to build for us. Uh, again, it's it's uh, sort of form that it has all these missing uh, files in here but uh, I guess that's part uh, partly to be expected when you're doing a minimal build and partly to be uh, expected when you're doing a spin-off where they won't necessarily include everything just trying to uh, save on some space save on some build time and save on uh, on their things that they need to um, you know double check on. So as you can see here, the build has started building and there's no errors about the missing dependencies. So I do think that's the way to go. Uh, I got this idea when looking at Orange Fox. Orange Fox specifically tells you to allow missing dependencies equals true. And the Red Wolf recovery does not tell us to do that, although uh, it looks like it needs that to be done as well. So just keep that in mind that you're going to need to export this allow missing dependencies true in order to get that build to start.